Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this nice animated cube rotating for infinite time. So creating this cube is very simple and easy. So let's begin it. Okay, let's define the basic structure of the HTML. Title will be rotating cube. Now inside the body element, we will define a div with class equal to top container. Now inside the class top container, we will define another div with class equal to container. Now let's save this and open the browser. And of course, nothing to display. Now let's write the CSS for the page. Select all elements, margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing border box now target the body element display will be flex justify content center align items center weight will be 100 percent height 100 viewport height and background color will be black now the page has a black background and we have also set the contents of the body element to be centered vertically and horizontally. Now let's go back to the code editor. Select the top container class. Perspective 1000 pixels. The perspective property gives an element a 3D space. The smaller the value is, the closer the element will look and if the value is greater the effect will be subtle and the element will look far away now let's copy the container class position will be relative weight will be 200 pixels height 200 pixels border 1 pixel solid white Transform style preserve 3D. Okay, we have the container with white borders, which will be the container for the cube. And now we need to add four div elements inside this container that will form the four sides of the cube. Now inside the container class, we will define four div elements where each div element will have two class names, one common class name sides so that all div elements will receive the same CSS style and one unique class name so that each div element can be selected separately. Now we have four div elements with the text back left right and front now you can see all the four div elements appears inside the container now we need to style it now copy the sides class weight will be inherit height inherit it inherits the width and height from its parent, which is 200 pixels. Position will be absolute. Transform style preserve 3D. Display will be flex. Justify content center. Align items center. Font size 22 pixels font weight bold and opacity 0.8 you can see the dev elements overlaps and exist on the top of each other now we need to translate rotate and specify the background color for each dev element and make the cube shape let's comment out the other three dev elements and target the div with class equal to back.
background color will be green transform translate z minus 100 pixels rotate y 180 degrees and you can see the first dev element has been pushed back by minus 100 pixels okay now we don't need these white borders around the container so let's remove it okay now comment out the last two dev elements and target the second dev with class equal to left background color will be light green transform origin left and transform translate z minus 100 pixels rotate y minus 90 degrees and you can see we made the left side of the cube now let's write the css code for the third dev element to form the right side of the cube target the dev element with class equal to right copy the above code change the background color yellow and transform origin to right and also change rotate y from minus 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees and there we have the right side of the cube okay now we want to bring the fourth dev element forward by 100 pixels to form the front part of the cube So select the last div element with class equal to front. Background color will be blue. Transform translate Z 100 pixels. And there it is. We have formed the cube shape. Now to rotate the whole cube shape, we need to add animation. So let's go to the code editor. Find the container class and inside the container class add animation. Animation name rotate. Length will be 8 seconds. Linear infinite. Now let's define the keyframes for the animation. Animation name rotate at 0% transform rotate y 0 degree and at 100% transform rotate y 360 degrees And there it is. Finally, we have a nice rotating cube. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this class and learned something from it.